Hey guys, what's going on? This is Bianca Dragon, and welcome to an Air Intelligence 3 tutorial. Um, yesterday, at the time of this video, the UIE 2013 for mod for Air Intelligence 3 just came out, and I've already noticed a lot of people are having trouble with it. This is a tutorial on how to get it working and how to set it up. All right. So I assume by this point you have it downloaded. So what's going to happen is that when you download this mod, because you know, I'm sure you found the website. You're going to want to go to your folder where your downloads are. And you're going to want to go here. Okay, now for this part, you're going to want to, you're going to need WinRare or 7-Zip. Now, I'm using WinRare. So, for example, like a so, you're going to see a menu. Actually, yeah, look at it. You're going to see a menu. It's going to say Extract Files. Sorry, guys, you can't see it, but you're gonna see this okay you're gonna see this menu you're gonna see this whole entire menu okay now you're gonna want to extract it to your local disk I'm not actually copying the real thing I'm just showing you how to do it you're gonna want to extract it to your Papyrus and your inner and 3 folder where all your game files are like this and you're gonna want to take it to your layout okay now when you extract it to this layout this may take a, a little while. It took me about five minutes to do it. Depending, it really depends on how fast your computer will be able to handle it. And you're going to press OK, which is right below here. Okay, you can get a WinRare for free. Just letting you guys know, I did. Okay. So now this next part, which we'll cut to here. All right. So when you get to this, you are most likely going to see this. Like I have the Legendary Collector's Edition. Um, there's different versions on how on what you want. It really depends. Um, each of them, I this one has a, a large amount of gigabytes. Like I said, this could take a while depending on how fast your computer is. Now you already have a layout.dat in your layout folder. Now this is a completely. This is not you. Do not ever touch this at any point. Do not ever touch it unless you're doing something. So what you're going to do is that you're going to go into this folder and you're going to see this. Now you're going to now before you do anything, you copy and paste the 2013 UI enhancements in the folder and you're going to want to copy it here, okay? Like I said, see you're going to copy 805 items. That's how much crap is in this thing. All right, as soon as it's done, we will cut back and we will continue. All right, so when that's done, you're going to want to go back into this, into this folder. You're going to want to go into this folder. Now, with the 2013 UI Enhancements floor thing, it's what activates it. It activates everything that you're going to need. So let's go into this, go into your layout files, and your replay and lay racing layouts. There's also the menus too, and they work the same way. What we're going to do, if you want to do the racing layout, where you're going to go into this and you choose. Okay, you're going to want to take this driving.win folder, you're going to want to go back, put this here then go back to where you were and then you choose one so for example let's choose the NTG one and these are the custom colors that you can choose from so let's choose the purple one and you're gonna need these driving dot LYT short for layout you're gonna need this folder else it's not gonna work alright so now you got your layout and you got your both of your driving folders okay that's how simple it is that's all you need and it's kind of a it's kind of the same case for the other ones as well like the NASCAR 9 one is gonna have like the same kind of thing alright so let's go to replay layouts now you're gonna need the full RPY dot win okay you wanna go back to layout copy and paste, yeah there's a lot of copy and pasting this but it, that's how you have to do it and you go back to your layout go back to your replay and then you choose what you want there's cl classic and classic extended um, it doesn't I would it doesn't really make too much of a difference um, so let's go to classic extended so for example let's choose the fox one okay choose the fox one because you know that's what the fox says and then you're gonna want to and you're gonna want to Oh, wait, did I do that right? <laughs> no, I did not do that right. Okay, hold on. Go back to it. You're going to want to go inside the Fox one. You're going to want to take the full RPY.LYT. And then you're going to go back into this. And there you go. Alright, so, and that's, and that's all. That's pretty much it. 
And to show proof, let's open up NASCAR the game. I mean, let's say, let's open up NASCAR Enter 2003 real quick. All right. Once it opens, we will cut to it. All right. All right. Once the game opens, we'll cut to it. All right. We have now opened up the game here. Now we're going to use the Gen 6 mods to test because that's what everyone at this time is using. Let's go to single race. Let's set up a simple race at Daytona night for the bouldering. All right, so set up your settings however you want to do it. All right, so now let's cut to race here. Um, it's going to have to load for a second to load up the track and stuff. Um, it takes a second. It's with this with every with every time you play. All right, so let's head into drive here. And there you go. See, you got the layout. You got the NTG layout. You got the positions. You got the laps. You got the... Yeah, you got the uh, thermo you got the monitor thing that tells you how fast you're going, and also you can change it. Like, if you, for example, like you can turn it off and on, drive it really away, and then you got the standings, you got the laps to go. Yeah, you got everything, and that's how it works. Okay, so now, see, you even got the flags here. These flags will show up when you're racing. All right, so now let's head into the replay. See, now we got our Fox Sports One stuff. And also, what's great about this, because now you do not have, even have to use your mouse to play, to even do your offline leagues anymore. See, you can just access the stuff, and you can just use this and this and this. Like you use the uh, control keys, like control V, then V. How you move everywhere. Like once you learn all the keys, you'll be like really quick with it, and you can do stuff, a lot of stuff, real quick. But you don't have to, you can just use the mouse if you want to, but then it's going to take a lot more space like this. And it's pretty pointless. Um, so yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much how it works, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you set up the UIE 2013 mod. This is Bianca Dragon, hope, and I hope you enjoyed this Air 2003 tutorial. And we will see you guys next time. Happy racing, everybody.